Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the social impacts of disasters. Basically, no long-term social impact of disaster could be detected at community level. The major types of disaster occurring more frequently are tornadoes, flood, earthquakes, forest fire and hurricane. When we come to the psychosocial impacts, research reviews conducted over a period of 25 years have concluded that disaster can cause a wide range of negative psychological responses. These include psychophysiological effects such as fatigue, gastrointestinal upset and tics as well as cognitive signs such as confusion impaired concentration and attention deficits. Psychological impacts include emotional signs such as anxiety, depression and grief. They also include behavioral effects such as sleep and appetite change, ritualistic behavior and substance abuse. In most cases, the observed effects are mild and transitory the result of normal people responding normally to a very abnormal situation. Few disaster victims require psychiatric diagnosis and most benefit more from a crisis counseling orientation than from a mental health treatment, treatment orientation, especially if their normal social support networks of friends, relatives, neighbors and co-workers remain largely intact. However, there are population segments requiring special attention and active outreach. These include children, frail elderly, people with pre-existing mental illness, racial and ethnic minorities, and families of those who have died in the disaster. Emergency workers also need attention because they often work long hours without rest, have witnessed horrific sights, and are members of organization in which discussion of emotional issue may be regarded as a sign of weakness. The negative psychological impacts described above are emotional focused coping, generally disrupt the social functioning of only a very small portion of the victim population. Instead, the majority of disaster victims engage in adaptive problem-focused coping activities to save their own lives and those of their closest associates. Further, there is an increased incidence in pro-social behaviors such as donating material aid and decreased incidence of antisocial behaviors such as crime. In some cases, People even engage in altruistic behavior that risk their own lives to save the lives of others. There also are psychological impact with long-term adaptive consequences such as change in risk perception and increased hazard intrusiveness. In turn, these belief can affect risk area residents' adoption of household hazard adjustments that reduce their vulnerability to future disasters. However, these cognitive impacts of disaster experience do not appear to be large in aggregate, resulting in modest effect of household hazard adjustment. The impact of hazard or disaster can be calculated by using the demographic impacts. The demographic impact of a disaster can be assessed by adapting a demographic balancing equation that is PA minus PB is equal to B minus D plus IM minus OM where PA is the population size after disaster PB is the population size before disaster and B stands for the number of birth and D stand for number of death as well as IM stand for number of immigrants and OM is the number of emigrants. So the demographic balancing equation is PA minus PB is equal to B minus D plus IM minus OM. The magnitude of the disaster impact that is PA minus PB is computed for the population of a specific geographical area and two specific point in time. Ideally, the geographical area would correspond to the disaster impact area that is PB would be immediately before the disaster impact 
and PA would be immediately after the disaster impact. In practice, population data are available for census division, so a geographical information system must be used to estimate the impact on the impact area. Moreover, population data are likely to be most readily available from the census department so the overall population change and its individual demographic components like birth, death, immigration and emigration are likely to be estimated from that particular source. On rare occasions, special survey has been conducted in the aftermath of the disaster and the limited research available on the demographic impact suggests disasters have negligible demographic impact on particular communities. Although it is logically possible that disaster could affect the number of births, it does not seem likely that the effect would be large. The major demographic impact of disaster are likely to be temporary and the immigration of construction workers after majority disaster and the immigration of population segment that have lost the housing. In many cases, housing related emigration is also temporary but there are documented cases in which housing reconstruction has been delayed indefinitely leading to ghost towns. Other potential causes of emigration are psychological impacts, economical impacts or political impacts that may occur after the impact of particular disasters. So my dear student, in this lecture we had discussed the social impacts of a particular disaster. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The question is, write in detail about the social impacts of disaster. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the economical impact as well as the political impact of disasters. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.